back to the exit. It's fast like that. I've got some batteries in it. What? Ah, oh, nuts. Okay. Uh. Hmm. Okay. So. We've... All right. The door was locked. I forgot this one. Yep. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Well, I can't actually do it with that valve again. Okay, what about the rest of them? Ah, oh, did I turn it? Yes. Did I turn it again? Yes. There we go. Oh, I guess I didn't turn them all off. Okay, let's try that. Let's try that again. Tennis water valve to shoot off the throw, is that tennis? Yes. Yeah. Turn them all off. Okay, sweet. Alright, all water turned off, let's head back to the exit. Although I don't doubt for a second that it isn't actually the exit. The pixely effects really adding to this game, I must say. Not a big doubt. 67p, and so far, you know, I play it. What can you have? 67p. Okay, sweet. Down the ladder. Looked like the water drained out of that grate in the wall. Okay. Through the door we go. The safety poser had definitely seen better days. How well was that facility? Uh, let's go through the door. Nah, the door was locked. I see a faint light within. Okay, let's go up the ladder then. Oop, oop, Door number one! I love these doors. Ooh, is that another dead body? Another dead body. A sewer worker. By the wounds all over his face and body, I figured he'd been stabbed repeatedly. There was a key ring sticking out of the man's pocket. Did I take it? Yes, you did. I thought about the knife I had found with some disgust as I carefully picked the keys from his pocket. I was almost worried he was going to grab me. Oh, don't say that. Don't say those kind of things! Oh, there was a security camera in the room. There must have been a way to see what happened. Maybe the VHS tape I found could be useful? <laughs> yeah, okay, so maybe we've got the security. Ah, oh, okay, now we're making sense. Now we're cooking the gas, we've just got to find a tape player. We can smell a hint of fresh air here. I must have been near an exit of some kind. But I wondered, what did that key I found on the sewer worker do? And what was on the video tape I found? Oh, I, t oh, I, I tell you what, can I go back and open these doors then? Let's, let's try this door over here. I, uh, um, no, it wasn't this one, was it? No, it was the one down the ladder. Let's see if I can go back down the ladder and see if that door unlocks. Ah, yes, it did. Excellent. What's in here then? The shelf full of security tapes was strictly organised, though covered in dust. Looked like tape I had found was the one that was missing from the shelf. Okay. There was a dusty VCR on the security desk. I wondered what was on that VHS tape I found. Did I play the tape? Yes. The video showed a man right there in the sewers being attacked. The tape looked fuzzy and stretched like somebody had tampered with it. It looked like there could have been two men. Oh. Okay, so there's two murderers. Okay. Brilliant. Just what I needed to know. Two people after my blood. Excellent. I don't even know if they're after my blood. I think I'm one of them, personally. Right, okay, so this must have been the other end of that ventilation shaft. Whoever used it could have gotten past that flooded room with this. Okay. Oh, so I could have. Ah, right, okay. My sore leg and the extra weight I was carrying made climbing the ladder difficult. Would I really need that gun or that knife on my journey back? Or had I taken them for some other purpose? The thought of that videotape still gave me chills. Who was it that didn't want to be seen? And what was that in the locked room? I shook my head as I reached the top of the ladder and heaved at the latch above me. Suddenly, the awful smell of that sewer gave way to the dank scent of pine trees. Alright, we're in the forest! Awesome! What a lovely night for a stroll! In the scary park thing. Maybe I shouldn't have picked up all that stuff. It seems like it's weighing me down a bit. I mean, leg, I'm, I'm, about, I'm probably going to drop down with leg pain or something. Ah! An old ladder leading up to an ancient water... Oh, the water tower! The ladder needs to be extended so I could climb it. Did I extend the ladder? Yes. I popped the latch and brought the ladder down. 
game is actually under his way. Ah, let's go up into the water tower. He'd mark that on his map, that crazy guy, so. Why not check it out? You know, like a nosy bastard we are. Alright, okay. In a patch made dirt and grass, there was a beat of wallet. Oh, wallet. I thought it was mine. Did I take it? Yes. I slid the filthy wallet into my back pocket. I noticed it didn't contain any kind of gun permit. In fact, it didn't contain any cards or ID of any kind. I thought I should recover my credit card and driver's license at least. From the railing, I could see over the woods and down to the entrance to the sewers. Had I come through there before? If I did, someone definitely could have seen me. Oh, shit. Scratch marks as well. I don't like the look of this. Do not like the look of this at all. Okay. Back down the water tower. Uh, there's an arrow on that, but... Um, oh, what's this? The rusty door was locked tight with an old padlock. The faded sign of the door warned about some kind of train yard. It must have referred to the town's only train station. It doesn't look like I'd be able to get through there at all. Okay. Onward then. Onward and upward. That's getting... Oh. Hello. Hello. Peekaboo. Alright. <laughs> this must have been the entrance to the forest that was mentioned on that map I had seen. Whoever was poking around in these tunnels underneath that man's house had scribbled notes on this place. I couldn't make them out. Here's the sign pointing out the various campsites and walking paths within the woods. It mentioned a river and maybe a washroom, but the rest was too faded to see clearly. Okay, so we're looking for a... Oh dear. What's this? Oh, right. It's just... Ah, it's actually a, like, a transportation... Okay, well, I can't go that way, so... I'm waiting for something to jump out as I move through that. Ah, a picnic bench. A dry old picnic table sat lonely amongst the trees. It had carvings and marks from years of previous campers. As I tried to read some of the names in the marks, I idly thumbed the knife I'd found from my pocket. If I wanted to, I could have carved something on that table. Did I? Yes. With a few crew strokes, I etched a simple design onto the wood. R plus H. I felt like a teenager defacing the table. Mm, something tells me it might have been a good idea. Oh, the path ended in a cold-looking river. I wasn't sure if it was safe to cross like this. Did I cross it? Ooh, we are saying yes to everything. We did cross the river, and oh, we successfully crossed. Okay, I'm worried now. Two bodies, two young women, were half dug in the hastily shallow grave between the trees. The younger-looking one was still face up. Her dead eyes gleaming against my flashlight. Oh, this is creepy. I had no idea who these girls were. I didn't touch the gravesite, did I? Yeah, why not? <laughs> I tried to arrange the bodies so their clothes covered them better. I closed the young one's eyes, shivering at the slight touch. With a few nearby sticks, I created a head marker so the police could find them later. Aww. Oh, that's a nice thing to do. Ah, another dead end. Okay, so... Let's go back across the river then. Get our way back over to the other side. Jason to pop up and grab me. Friday the 13th style. It always weirded me out that the uh, spoilers that the murderer in the first Friday the 13th film wasn't actually Jason. It was his mum, and Jason only appeared right at the end. What the hell's that? Trampled into the dirt and grass was a plastic card of some kind. I brushed it off and was surprised to see it was my credit card. I wasn't sure if I was still usable, but it was mine. Did I take it back? My credit card? Yes. I pocketed the credit card. Hopefully, I could find my driver's license too. Uh, through the fence, I could see a dilapidated outbuilding. I wonder if I could find my way around. Uh, I tell you what, let's go back. Let's go through these bushes first. Where does this take us? Ooh, what's that? A few embers still burned within the fire pit. I couldn't bear to think of who this campsite belonged to. Probably those women. I thought of the two girls across the river and I had to collect myself. Two folding camping chairs were on the ground. One was knocked over. If those poor girls were here, then they obviously ran off. There were cans of beer spilled onto the ground, and the dirt was kicked up. What's in the tent? What's in the tent? The cheap-looking two-person dome tent only made the hairs on my back of my neck stand up. Had this campsite belonged to those girls? Well, if it did, it didn't do them any good. Because they're dead now. Oh, God, there's so many holes in the grass. I've, I've, I think I might be a bit lost now, actually. But I, did. I can hear some rustling. There were some personal effects shoved back into the rock. Wait, there was a notebook there too. Did I read it? Yeah. Inside the cheap dollar store notebook was page after warm page of names and lists. None of it made much sense. The newest page contained several names. Heather, Olivia, Ashley, Cheryl, Iris, Daphne, Holly, Rose, Rachel. Rachel? 
Her name was last on the list and had a mark beside it in blue ink. The name Daphne and Olivia had been crossed out in the same blue ink. Cheryl, Heather and Rose had also been crossed out, but these marks looked older and more faded. Okay. I think this guy's a serial killer and he's just forgot himself. Does this take me back to the outbuilding? Yes, okay, so there's that other hole in the grass, let's explore that. You'd think I'd be more scared and wouldn't be exploring, but I've, I've kind of got used to it now, there's something... Okay. No, 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 oh dear. What's in here, then? The grimy sink had a small patch in it that looked almost clean. Okay. There was a damp-smelling plank leaning against the stall door. I might have been able to cross the river with it. Did I take it? We've crossed the river already, so no. I left the plank where it was. Perhaps just wading through that river would be safer. Well, I already did wade through the river. So... If it would have helped me, it would have helped me. But I've already been through the river and back, so... No need to take it. First time I've said no in this game. But for a clear-cut reason. Alright, let's go through this. Dead end. The sign was the same as the first one I had seen. This must have been the exit to the other side of the woods. I had finally found the exit. Once I left, I knew I never wanted to return there. Okay, so there's that. Nah, no, screw it. That made a really loud noise. Through the dense trees, I could finally start to see some light. I must have been at the edge of the forest, though. I wasn't sure where the path ahead of me led. I could almost feel the cryptic notebook in my pocket as I tried to think about what it could mean. And where were the campers who had abandoned their site? Would I meet them too? Though the path ahead of me was less dense, I still felt guarded and wary. Who knew what was ahead? We've already found the people who were in the uh, campsite, haven't we? Unless he's saying that they weren't them. Okay, that was a long walk to the door, okay. Again, feel like I'm going into a boss battle. As I stepped through the gate, I suddenly recognised the auto parts factory where I'd worked as a machinist for all those years. The plant had closed almost three years ago now. Times were better then. I thought I could hear a faint rustling behind me. Maybe it was just the wind. Oh, I hope it's the wind. I really hope it. Oh, God. Going back through that. <laughs> That's a rather large hole in the fence. Where the hell am I now? One of the lockers hung open. Its contents were tossed around like someone had been looking for something. Door was locked shut. There was a little electronic box under the handle. A sign was pasted at the front that said, Danger, closed for repairs. Large power box with five lights on it. Cables bust out of the box, snaking off to the other parts of the factory. The metal was starting to wear and cobwebs had collected on the corners. The box wasn't receiving power. Okay. The door was locked tight, seemed to be connected to the power box. Okay, so I guess we've got to turn on the power box. Roger that. Makes sense. Let's go upstairs. Every part of this plant smelled old and rotten. I noticed the old bulletin board on the wall. Okay, what does it say? The board contained yellow clippings of newspaper cartoons and notices. There were notes to and from the guys that worked here. One of them was to Norman, who was one of the older guys on the line. Okay, well, he knew the guys, I guess. If he already worked here, he will have known who the guys were. Something like that. Hmm, a power panel. Okay, it was shut off. Did I push the switch? Yes. Power panel still wasn't working. Should I switch it again? Yeah, there we go. Ah, we got the home of electric. The locker was stuffed with dirty work clothes and old boots. There was a photo of a woman taped to the inside, but it was scratched out, and the face was unrecognisable. Ooh, okay. And another power button. Yep, we've got to turn the power buttons on. Seem to be working again. Excellent. Shut tight. There was a rusty looking card slot on the side. We need a card. We need a key card. We've got two of these things on. Let's see if there's any more along the floor somewhere. These dolls kind of do add a bit of mystery. I, 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 Resident Evil dolls used to add mystery. Our old break table. The layers of dust and grime only made seem this sting more. Sting more? Why would it sting? I used to work here, now I don't. It's not the end of the world. Whoa, look at this big box. This was Norman's locker. The door was dented like someone had punched it. I don't remember him doing that when we worked there. Mm. Okay, another switch. Yep. I wish we could speed that up. 